Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the victory of cyclist Damiano Corosio of Team Bahrain victorious in the first place in the Tour of Italy is an effective promotion for the kingdom in international forms and contributes to achieving the country's economic vision 2030. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also noted that Team Bahrain victorious has achieved many gains in its abroad participation and is constantly supported for more accomplishments and desired goals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that Team Bahrain victorious achieved advanced levels of victories during this month after the team managed to win the Hungarian Tour. His Highness also expressed his keenness on supporting the team to enhance the sporting and economic gains of the kingdom. His Highness wished the team all success in the upcoming events, which will be more important and competitive. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman, Head of the General Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for launching a campaign aimed at supporting Bahrain national football team during the third round of the 2022 FIFA World 2023 AFC Asian Cup qualifiers. Sheikh Khalid directed to launch the initiative under the hashtag. Hashtag Al Ahmar can do it. Bahrain will host the remaining matches of the third round of Group C during the period running from Thursday, May 3rd until June 15th. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the directives of His Highness Sheikh Khalid to support the national team in its, in its efforts to win more points and boost the qualification hopes. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said the national squad aiming to qualify for the FIFA World Cup will need support and solidarity against tough Asian teams. He expressed his confidence that all citizens, the sports community, the conventional and social media platforms would come out in force in support of the initiative under the hashtag. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received Saudi Arabia's Chief of General Staff, Lieutenant General Fayyad bin Hamad Al Rueli, Defense Affairs Minister, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, and BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, were present. The Commander-in-Chief praised the depth of the strong fraternal relations between the two kingdoms, noting that the march of this historical relationship continues under the constant care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed assessed or stressed that thanks to the support from the two leaders, the bilateral relations is witnessing a continuous development at all levels and in all fields of military action and in the various areas of defense cooperation and coordination between the BDF and the Saudi Armed Forces. The meeting was attended by the Assistant Chief of Staff for Human Resources, Major General Sheikh Ali bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Commander of the Royal Bahrain Air Force Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations Major General Ghanem Ibrahim Al Fadala, Military Director or Training Director Major General Salah Rashid Al Saad, Commander of Royal Bahrain Naval Force Rear Admiral Muhammad Yusuf Al Asam, and a number of senior officers. The Representatives Council Speaker Fawzi Abit Abdullah Zainal and the Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani participated remotely in the ceremony launching the diploma program in parliamentary diplomacy prepared by the Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies and the Representatives Council. Zainal delivered a speech in which she affirmed that this vital program is gaining considerable importance measured by the critical role that parliamentary diplomacy plays in the service of the nation's foreign policy and in consolidating the effective presence and confidence that Bahrain enjoys in the international community. She stated that the swift developments in the world and the uh, convergence of interests between states on various levels require the activation of all the available tools to support the kingdom's policies and strengthen international ties. She added that the legislative authority has developed plans and strategies and prioritized activating parliamentary diplomacy as one of the most important tools of implementing the national policy at the external level. The Foreign Affairs Minister 
delivered a speech in which he affirmed the joint keenness between the ministry and representatives council on bolstering constructive cooperation ties and achieving joint goals of developing parliamentary diplomacy and enhancing its role in achieving the goals of Bahrain's foreign policy. He hailed the cooperation between the officials at the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy and the General Secretariat of the Representatives Council as well as all specialists on two sides to develop this comprehensive program. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yagub al Hamar, stated that the number of beneficiaries from the Mazaya program since the beginning of it of the year was 1,400 beneficiaries and reached around 8,000 until now. He added that the average value of the housing units purchased by the beneficiaries amounted to around 109,000 Bahraini dinars, and the largest percentage of the units that the beneficiaries purchased was concentrated in the Northern Governorate at 47%, following by Muharraq Governorate, then the Capital Governorate, and finally the Southern government at 4%. Al Hamar discussed the statistics on the economic impact, noting that the total volume of expenditure provided by the Mazaya program in the relevant sectors reached 880 million Bahraini dinars. The minister added that uh, converting or converting the application service to benefit from the Mazaya program into an electronic service through the new electronic platform of the Ministry of Housing has contributed to facilitating and expediting citizens' procedures and saving time and effort. He praised the efforts of the funding banks and their cooperation to provide financing solutions to citizens, whether through facilitating and expediting procedures that ensure immediate access to the housing service or through promotional offers that provide citizens with finance flexibility and appropriate housing choices. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al-Saleh, chaired the fifth extraordinary meeting of the GCC health ministers held in Riyadh. During the opening session, al-Saleh delivered a statement in which she conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the participants and his wishes of success for the meeting. The fifth emergency meeting reviewed the current health situation in the member states, the outcomes of the work of the Undersecretary's Committee on the Travel Procedures for Immunized Citizens within the GCC and the GCC Guide for COVID-19 Vaccine uses as well as a study on the gene sequence of COVID-19 variants. Al Saleh praised the member states' successful efforts to combat the pandemic, which contributed significantly to protecting the health of their citizens and residents. The Kingdom of Bahrain has strongly condemned the Houthi terrorist militia's continued attacks on civilian facilities in Saudi Arabia. In a statement, the Foreign Affairs Ministry deplored the launch of an armed drone towers the city of Khamis Amshir in a blatant attack on the Kingdom's sovereignty, security and stability, posing a serious threat to the security and safety of civilians. It praised the efficiency and vigilance of the coalition forces which were able to intercept and destroy the drone, affirming Bahrain's solidarity with Saudi Arabia. Arabia against any action that targets its security and stability. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs stressed the need for the international community to take deterrent measures against the Houthi terrorist militia's practices which threaten security and stability in the region. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 911,847 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 773,002 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 28,798 with 2,533 recoveries, 3,274 registered new cases. 1,275 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,988 are contacts of active cases and 11 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. Coronavirus.